On April 13, 2018, a fake news article took the world by a storm. Posted by an anonymous hacker on CNN, the article claimed that, through a recent study at Yale University, Aristotle's theory of spontaneous life was true. In 300 BC, philosopher Aristotle claimed that correlation implied causation. Flies were always around dead meat in nature. Therefore, dead meat created and birthed the life of flies. It was quickly proven false and labeled as absurd. However, crowd control across the planet failed, and after the fake article was widespread across Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, over text, and through everyday conversation, billions of people across the earth had heard of the verification of the Obiogenesis theory. Hi, I'm Will McKinnon, biologist. And for the next 365 days, I'll be taking pictures of meat in a jar. I asked multiple people around PEI about this subject. Here's what they had to say. I firmly believe that it's true, Man, it has to be the meat. If it's not the meat, then I don't know how they're doing it. The flies just can't appear out of thin air. If it's not true, then what have I been working for my whole life? Flies are lies, government drones. The only way they're being made is in high security Russian facilities. It's obviously true, man. I've seen it on YouTube. Fly spawner gang, bro! Yes, because there's little eggs inside the meat, and when the meat goes bad, they hatch. I. So, listen here, listen here, right? So, you see, meat, meat's made of living stuff, right? Living stuff, okay? Living stuff. Now, you take cells, you take living stuff cells, and you jump that all together and you add it to more cells, you're gonna get new cells, right? Because they do that thing. And now you have flies. You get rotten meat, sure, that stuff's dead. Yeah, sure, it's rotten, but there's still cells there. Cells make cells, cells make flies. Flies come out randomly, it's random. Flies. Like, flies, they're made of cells. It's kind of obvious to put together, especially when you think like randomization, like you get enough cells put together, it's like a little code, a little code, right? And you get, you get enough of those random codes, you're gonna make an actual code. It's flies. It's flies. I'm telling you, it's flies. There's no logical explanation. I left six ounces of skunk meat in my closet, and now there's flies there. What are flies gonna do? Open the damn door? I sure ain't. So, are you gonna ask me a question or something? I don't believe that flies come from meat. That's stupid. I actually think if you believe in that, you should be Obviously flies come from meat. I mean, have you ever seen a pregnant fly? Open your eyes, sheeple. Alright, so if you've ever seen, like, rotting meat, you've seen the maggots, but you've never seen how, the, how they get there. There's no, there's no eggs, there's no nothing. So it's my theory that the, the cells in the meat are actually going undergoing some sort of transformation into maggots, which then grow into flies. Have you guys ever, like, seen fly egg? Because I haven't, like personally, and I've been looking for like I don't know how long. I And if, if you even look in the trash, like I keep my trash bin closed but like there's flies all throughout that thing. So the, the, the flies and meat debate is a very controversial subject. Many people believe that the flies come from the meat and many people don't and it's just sparked a lot of arguments over the past week or weeks or days. Uh, personally, I believe the flies don't come from the meat. Because how could they? How could the, the body of a fly come from the meat of a dead cow, or a leopard, or a lizard? It just doesn't make sense to me. Honestly, 
You're pretty dumb if you think flies are come for meat. In my opinion. This experiment will last 365 days. 365 days of letting this meat sit in a jar. Every day I'll take a picture or video. At the end we'll see what the progress was. Here's what the meat looked like on day one. No signs of flies, maggots, or any kind of life at all. So I'd be the first to call that a victory royale. On day two, there were still no signs of life at all. Just a healthy, delicious looking piece of meat in a jar. On day 17, the meat was turning a nice, minty, fresh green. Happy day 104. The meat's looking pretty delicious and also quite lifeless. No flies, no maggots, or anything of the sort on day 200. Here's what the jar looked like on day 289. No flies at all. Just a delicious looking piece of steak. And on day 322, the jar was looking pretty delicious. On day 362, the jar was completely devoid of life, which was fantastic. Would you look at that? A new day, a new picture for a whole year. Here's our subject. No flies, no maggots, no ants. Just a healthy, uncooked piece of steak. All nice and ready for supper. Take that, fly spawners. Take that indeed. People may have pointed their fingers at me and laughed. They may have said it was pointless and that I'd be seeing flies on the second day. Fortunately, that was not true, and I have reigned supreme. And I'm darn lucky I did it too. Now I don't have to go buy some supper. Let's eat. Just slap me already. <laughs> <laughs> no, no laughing. <laughs>